Well, round one, we're going to keep this. This hand needs a little help, but... I guess we have a Crashing Tide and a Sculptor and a Tender Shoot Dryad, so... Hopefully we can find a one or two drop here to play the Storm Sculptor into. Uh-oh. Mirror match, huh? Ooh, that's a good one. And they got the Deep Root Champion, too. That one's probably a little bit less good for us. But Silver Gill Adapt's super strong. Mm, i probably aggressive urge that at the end of turn, of course, not before damage. I mean, I guess I could hold on to it and just Crashing Tide instead. But we'll see. Problem is, I'm kind of... Yeah, I guess I should now. So let's... Uh, let's play the Sworn Guardian now. It's good to see a 1-3 holding back the army. That's nice. So I can Crashing Tide that. Which I suppose we probably should. And then just get the Tinder Shoot Dryad down next turn. And hopefully go towards a path of recovery there. Hmm. Okay. Mm. I probably need to play the Tinder Shoot. I mean, I could play the Secrets, but I feel like I still, <laughs> then I'm just like jumping. So we can bring in Naturalize for one with the wind. Still a little bit reticent to do that unless I see more enchantments. So let's wait. Uh, okay, so let's do this. Play secrets. Well, I 
We're close. I think if we'd resolved the crashing tide, I think we could have gotten there. Hmm. So that didn't, I mean, it didn't feel like, honestly, I think it was just the, the perfectly placed cancel that got us there. I don't know why they didn't block the deeper champion. You have a 4-4. Four -four. So I guess we don't need to show them the second crashing tide. So, yeah, it, I mean, definitely seems like we should be able to win this. I, I think it was just like I said. I think having to cancel at right, the right time was the problem. Do I want to negate? They have Siren's Ruse, cancel, one with the wind. It's not really screaming at me there, but I guess I can swap out an aggressive urge for it. No plummets, unfortunately. That'd make it a lot easier. But I kind of want the negate over the naturalize, just because if that's their only enchantment in the deck, then I'd rather have something that can counter more things. And I guess we have bounce for one with the wind anyway. All right. We'll play first. Hmm, well, no blue mana, but we're going to keep. Play the Wayfinder, and I suppose we'll just bottom any non-islands here. Well, I mean, on one hand, I kind of want it. But if I don't find a blue mana, I think I'm in trouble. Okay, so we can do the Hadana's Climb. Or we can do the Shaper Apprentice into Hadana's Climb. Might want to do that. If I do Hadana's Climb now, next turn I can flip it and get in for... 10? That's pretty good. Maybe I do want to do that. Alright. 
So I feel as though we're holding down the fort fairly effectively right now. So then next turn, flip the climb, and when does it flip, though? Just flips right away, so I can get in for 10, potentially. I'm trying to think why they brought the naturalize in. What did I show them in game one? Did not show them Adonis climb. What did I show them? What in... What on earth did I show them in game one? I showed them a tender shoot dryad. I don't understand. That's that's just very strange. I have absolutely if please, commenters, what did I show them that would justify a naturalize? I am seriously completely <laughs> I am completely drawn a blank here. Still don't want to attack. They just block with an adept and a pioneer, and I'd still feel like they'd end up with the better end of that. Okay, so we'll have to keep the Apprentice back to block, which I guess is okay. Island there was actually a good draw. So now we can go Herald plus Sculptor. It's a good draw. I think we're just going to leave up the crashing tide. Well, I can't uh, crashing tide that. So I guess we'll crashing tide the Herald and
You can do the Storm Tamer too. I'm not sure it matters. Artisan is actually pretty nice here too. So for eight mana we can play the Artisan. Maybe hunt the hunt the herald and I guess make them sack the storm tamer. Oh, they well, that's helpful. Can attack here too. Let's see. If I attack here. They double block. Or they just chump. I think we're going to go for it anyway. I guess they have lethal if they bounce now. Kind of got to attack with everything, so it makes sense. I'm trying to think, did we have lethal though? Uh, if I didn't attack with Wayfinder, would I have lethal this turn? They would have had four more life, they would have been at six. No, we wouldn't have, so actually worked out pretty well so what else does the gate handle again it handles one with the wind and cancel and there was another card I just can't recall Still kind of confused about the... Oh, you know why I'm having trouble? It's because I forgot to play my foil island. It's totally what it was. Um, yeah, I'm just... I'm still confused by their naturalize. Do they just main deck and naturalize? Or... I really need some comment or input on this because I'm, I'm just confused where that came from and why it was in there. Uh... Do I want negate? I just, I really can't decide here. I need to be able to deal with their flyers, and I just kind of can't. Maybe I do need naturalize, but man, one card in their deck is just really unimpressive. It's just a really sad reason to bring in a naturalize, especially when you have four crashing tide, too. I guess the question is, do I, we probably just keep the negate, because I want to be able to stop a, a cancel. As sad as that is, because negate deals with a lot less than cancel does. But we don't have a cancel of our own, so. And I guess I'd, I mean, we could do the horn swoggle as well, but. They definitely have more creatures than non-creatures. It could be in our best interest to just do the horn swoggle. But they have, oh, Siren's Ruse too. That was the other one. Which isn't even that good in their deck either, is it? I guess they do have a pirate. They have the 3-2. All right, we're just going to run it like this, I guess. All right, well, it's a good hand. 
currently a turn four Jade Bear, but that's okay. Well, one with the wind's going to be an issue with that uh, storm tamer out. Could do the branch walker. I guess that actually does make sense. Because then we can go jade bearer too. I guess we'll graveyard that. Need to land a, quite a bit more. But at least we can get in for two. Siren's Ruse, or what's going on? Oh, Crashing Tide of their own. Surprised they have any. Considering how many we got. close to that tender shoot dryad. So we'll tide the champion. Draw our card. This is overall pretty good value because they did it before blocks as well. So ideally we can play the tender shoot next turn. I think that's going to do a lot of work, especially since they just played two removal spells we haven't even seen them play before. Alright. Well, they left up cancel mana. Not sure I want to play around it, though. I mean, I feel like we're kind of... Why don't we attack with the branch walker first, see what happens. Because I'd like to play around cancel. Like, resolving Tinder Shoot Dryad is really the difference between winning or losing, so... I kind of want to do my best to play around it. So let's play the Pioneer. I don't mind even baiting a counter spell. Yeah. Like, think how much more harsh <laughs> that cancel would have been on my Tinder Shoot Dryad. Because now we can just cast Tinder Shoot next turn and do a lot better at taking the game over, I think. So let's play a Sworn Guardian now. 
That way I can block the junk, because we just want to protect ourselves a little bit now. Um, I guess we, they have no cards left in hand? Alright, so we can attack with Branch Walker. Guess I could have gotten a send, but actually we're going to get a send anyway, so that's really not a huge deal. All right. I kind of want to catch them on another F6, but I'm not sure we'll get that luxury. So I guess we do this on their Reaver. Okay. Alright, cool. Looks like the unfairness got there. We'll take it. We will take it. Alright, see you round two.